In this video, I'm going to share with you what kind of salaries industrial engineers can expect to earn in 2019. We will go over how much industrial engineers earn today, the five best places in the country for industrial engineers, and how industrial engineering pay stacks up against some of the other engineering fields. Coming up. Hey everybody, Stephen Hack here and this is Career Watch. If you end up enjoying this video, you can support us by subscribing. Industrial engineers find ways to eliminate wastefulness in production processes. They devise efficient systems that integrate workers, machines, materials, information, and energy to make a product or produce a service. Industrial engineers apply their skills to many different situations, from manufacturing to healthcare systems and business administration. So let's get into the salary statistics. In the year 1999, industrial engineers were making $57,450 per year. By the year 2018, this had risen to $91,800 per year. This amounts to a gain of $34,350 over a period of 20 years. And if you were to divide that number by 20, this would give you the average yearly wage growth. So industrial engineers on average have been earning about $1,700 more every single year. So the government hasn't released the 2019 numbers yet, but if you add the 2018 industrial engineer average salary to the average wage growth, you come out to almost $94,000 per year for industrial engineers in 2019. For more information on the pay history of industrial engineers, here's a graph showing the pay for the past 20 years. And notice that it's just a steady climb. Pay wasn't really influenced by the 2008 recession. Um, the pay has just been rising slowly over the past 20 years. So that is the average pay for industrial engineers, but here's the thing. Depending on the metro that you live in, this, this pay could be much higher or lower. For example, in sunny Miami, Florida, the average wage is $73,960, which is almost $18,000 less than the average, the average being $91,800. So depending on where you live, your pay, the pay for an industrial engineer could be much higher or much lower than the average. I've compiled a list of five metro areas that I believe strongly are the best places for industrial engineers. This is based off the average salary, the number of jobs, the cost of living, here they are. Number five on my list is Detroit, Michigan. And look at all those shops. There's over 20,000 jobs for industrial engineers in Detroit, Michigan. The pay is good. It's uh, $93,250 on average, which is almost $1,500 above the national average. Cost of living is fairly low. But man, the main reason it's on this list is because there's so many jobs for industrial engineers, far more than any other metro area in the United States. The number four metro on my list is the Los Angeles metro area. And look again, look at all those jobs. There's around 10,000 jobs for industrial engineers in Los Angeles, which is number two for jobs in the entire country. It doesn't have as much as Detroit, but it still has a lot of jobs for industrial engineers. Uh, the cost of living is fairly high. The pay is $107,140, which is $15,340 above the national average. So you'll be making much more in LA over a lot of other metro areas in the United States. The number three metro area on my list is the San Jose, California metro area. There's almost 5,000 jobs. The pay is $124,940 on average, which is $33,000 above the national average. So high pay, a lot of jobs, but the cost of living might be a breaker for a lot of people. It's hard, very hard to afford a home in San Jose. The rent is not cheap but I had to put this on the list because a lot of jobs and high pay. So number two on my list is the Seattle, Washington metro area. There's over 5,000 jobs. The pay is on average 111,000 per year. Cost of living is fairly high, but the pay is almost $20,000 over the national average. So high pay, plenty of jobs, and somewhat high, but kind of in the middle cost of living. The number one pick on my list is Houston, Texas. There's almost 5,000 jobs, but the pay, the pay is ridiculous, $129,840 per year, which is $38,000 over the national average. And look at that cost of living. It's, Houston is cheap compared to San Jose, compared to Seattle, compared to Los Angeles. Houston is really cheap. So this is by far, in my opinion, the best place for industrial engineers in the entire United States. So those are my picks for the best metro areas for industrial engineers. And as you can see, the variance in pay is astounding. You can make $75,000 a year in Miami, Florida, or you could make $138,000 in Houston, Texas. And Houston's cheaper than Miami, though Miami is a great place to live. What do you think of my analysis? Let me know in the comments below. 
Finally, let's compare industrial engineering with some of the other engineering fields. The Bureau of Labor Statistics breaks in engineering into 17 different fields. Industrial engineering is one of these 17 different fields. And unfortunately, as far as pay is concerned, it does not stack as well as some of the other engineering fields. In fact, it's the 16th best paying engineering field if you just look at things nationally. Obviously, I just showed you that certain metro areas pay far above the average. But when you're just comparing the average wage, industrial engineering is number 16 on the list. But one of the advantages of industrial engineering is job growth. Some of the other engineering fields are shedding jobs. Nuclear engineering, aerospace engineering, petroleum engineering, they're extremely high pay, but there isn't the job growth that there was a couple of years ago. In fact, some of these fields might shed jobs over the next couple of years. Industrial engineering does not have this problem. Industrial engineering has been adding lots of jobs over the past 20 years. Here's a graph showing the job growth over the past 20 years. It's been pretty good. And the Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts this is going to continue. Are you interested in becoming an industrial engineer? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.